What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and I'm just here to do a review for the latest trailer for Robocop, the Robocop remake, directed by Jose Padilla. And just from the overall feel of this trailer, it makes it look like the film is going on a whole different direction. It almost feels like even though that this is a remake from Paul Verhoeven's classic, uh, Jose Padilla appears to be doing something very, very different. Now, you got the original concept there, which is a, a, a cyborg who fights crime, okay? The future of law enforcement. But it looks like the story is being revamped. I mean, of course, you still have... Uh, um, you know, this organization, OCP, which is wanting to lobby for, for robots or rather, um, I guess, mechanical things, you know, uh, uh, enforcing the law. Okay, they're lobbying for that. They got it all over the world, but why not America? And that's what they're lobbying for. Now, that is something that wasn't totally emphasized in the first one. In the first one, um, you know, they, they, it was a part of the story. But it seems like in the trailer for this Robocop, uh, this new Robocop remake, it looks like that's a huge part of the story. It really makes up a huge aspect of the story. Now, what's really interesting to me is that um, there are a lot and a lot of robots. You have the enforcement droid, like the new version of the ED-209. You have these drones, which looks like super battle droids from episode one. And I think there's another type of... Um, uh, robot, uh, um, it looks like it, I don't know. But then then you finally have Robocop, which looks not too bad. He looks, I, I think he kind of looks better than the original, but one thing that really gets me is the hand. What's up with the um, the bear hand, the single bear hand? Um, that's very interesting to me. It's I know it serves some kind of purpose, but another thing that they're focusing on or they're really emphasizing is that um, we get to see the face of Alex Murphy. And he can have it on and off, it's like battle mode and friendly mode. I don't know, but it seems to make us think that Murphy, the character of Alex Murphy, could be self-aware. It makes us look like, it makes it feel like um, Alex Murphy is still alive. I mean, he knows what's going on. He knows what happened to him. He's not dead. Unlike uh, in, in, in the original Robocop, Alex Murphy is completely dead, um, but he still has memories. But in the new Robocop remake, it looks like that he... He's kind of aware of what happened to him. So it's a different kind of take, but I think it's kind of interesting. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Now, there are two versions of, of the Robocop, uh, um, uh, uh, of two versions of Robocop. You have this black version and the silver version. Now, I'm not sure which one comes first or last, but Alex Ke I mean, Michael Keaton's uh, a character says, Let's go, let's see what he looks like in black for, you know, stealth mode or covert mode, right? So it looks like the silver one comes first and then the black one comes later. So all this stuff is very interesting. It makes me feel like this is a whole new movie, except they're taking the original concept of the original Robocop and transforming it into, you know, a new updated version. Now, it looks like Robocop is going to be fighting a lot of robots. And I think the main reason why they want to do that, as opposed to him, you know, fighting a lot of humans, is to tone down the level of violence because if you keep on having him kill bad guys human bad guys with a lot of with a lot of gore you know what i'm saying that's going to amount to an r rating and originally they wanted an r rating but they dumbed it down to a pg-13 rating and i think that way obviously you can sell more tickets but you know with the story uh, 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 having Ro uh, Robocop fight other robots, then obviously it's going to be bringing it to a PG-13 raid because the um, the body count will be a lot lower. <laughs> so there you have it. Um, this is this looks really really um, really exciting for me. Uh, I, watching that trailer, it's it looks very very different, and I like that. Um, even though they're making the changes, it feels like the changes are going to be justified because it's like a whole reimagination of Paul Verhoeven's classic concept. So there you have it. I'm looking forward to this. I don't have any complaints. I'm just going to wait to see what you know what it's going to be like when it comes out. But 
I love a good robot movie, so this is going to be falling perfectly into the robot genre. So there you have it. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, the new Robocop trailer in the comments section below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Raging Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter, at Raging Nation. My name is Alex Yu. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Giving the, 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 the viewers a really good sense of the action because I felt that the action was really, really well done. Not, in not just in terms of the choreography, but...